Alright, so, welcome to Galactic Crew 2. This game is currently in alpha, and it's not yet really, like, you know, available on a Steam store, though there is a Steam page, like, you know, store page for it. Um, basically this game, I received the Steam key for it, for you, from the developer, and, well, it's basically very similar to FTL, Faster Than Light, and a lot of, like, it's, like, you know, concept and basically way of playing. Anyhow, let's just play it, and I'll like show off a little bit about what it's all about, and go from there, so to speak. So, new game. And I don't know if I've actually already tried to do a quite a few recordings for this game already, but um, uh, basically, this game is like you know, as he, as it basically says, currently in alpha, and there's like you know, lots of bugs and other stuff basically to deal with it. So, bear in mind, this game will probably be improved by a lot from like you know what you're basically seeing here. All right, so. Um, I've actually already unlocked a lot, of, like, a lot of stuff over here, but, um, basically, you'll have to basically unlock a lot of, like, these, like, you know, perks over here, for example, just to throw it out there. But anyhow, this game basically takes a very different, like, you know, approach to, like, you know, um, space combat than, like, say, FDL, where, like, you know, you're basically running from, like, Royal Fleet to, like, you know, get to, like, your home fleet, defend them. The idea here is, like, you know, you're basically, like, you know, just a lone ship in, like, you know, space. And you basically, like, you know, play out whatever role you basically go for. So, I could be, like, a space pirate, basically destroy, like, you know, so many ships. I could be a merchant who basically, like, you know, earns money by trade. I could be a space explorer who basically goes around, like, you know, exploring a map. Or a colonist who basically goes around, like, you know, colonizing, like, you know, the, you know, known universe, so to speak. Anyhow, we'll be a space pirate for now. And we'll take the bar out for, like, you know, a spin. There will be other ships basically unlocked as you go along, but, you know, we're not, I'm not quite there yet for, like, that stuff, so, oh, well. We'll be a soldier, because these guys are basically good at combat, and I'll be able to show off a little bit, but, bit about, like, you know, the combat aspects of this game. Though there is, like, other stuff like Engineer or like, Pod for, like, you know, other stuff as well. We're gonna be a female human, so you can see, like, you know, the female commander is basically in play. And just to show off, this is, like, you know, a salesman here, we'll have combat here, we'll have, like, you know, jump gate here. Unpredictable, like, space, for example, here. And let's just get to it. So, we're creating a space of Phoenix. We're basically importing a mouse. We need, basically need to get this done. Alright, so. Those who basically have played FDL Fast and Light should probably be very familiar with, like, the, like, setup we basically have here. Essentially, we're, like, looking down on, like, a spaceship with, like, you know, multiple different rooms and stuff like that. If I click the overview button over here, basically see like, you know, sort of like breakdown of like what the ship's basically all about. So, you can see like what weapons we basically have like on this like ship here. You can see like what type of like, you know, room breakdown we have over here. And then we have like, you know, general stats for like the system basically like, you know, and how it basically works. So, um, basically like a room for like off-air slots like right here. And that's where like my like captain lives. We got like, you know, a bridge here where basically like, you know, we pot the ship and like, you know, all that stuff. We have crew quarters where basically like, you know, are like, you know, our people basically are like, you know, in a ship. Um, we currently don't have any drone slots, but I could if I basically like swap out like, you know, these rooms for like, you know, a drone center. We have a reactor right there to power up a ship and stuff like that. You know, you get the idea basically how this basically works. Alright, so, if I wanted these guys to like man different systems of the game, so... My captain could go like on a captain chair, for example. What do you want me to do? This like alien could go like, you know, man yes, like weapons. Um, this guy could like go man the shields. Yes, ma'am. And I hope I can zoom in to basically like look these guys that are doing their work, so... You know, very like, you know, um, 3D models like type of stuff for this like game here, as opposed to like the pixel graphics from like, you know, FDL. Now, I hope I have my crew here basically has like different like, you know, aspects of what they basically do. And if I look at the captain here, for example... What do you want? Basically like, you know, she basically has like a rifle here to make use of. Um, because she's a soldier, you can equip this like, you know, combat vest basically to like, you know, reduce damage to herself in like combat. She basically has, like, you know, um, a bunch of, like, you know, skills basically related to, like, you know, damaging or, like, fighting things, so... She has, like, up-close damage, she has, like, you know, um... Enemy Pacific damage, she has, like, you know, weapons, like, you know, ship type of damage and stuff like that. Then I got the other crew members, these guys basically have, like, pistols, and they have, like, you know, um... Basic ship function type of things, so they basically, like, you know, heal, like, you know, um, people they need to, or repair each other. So, like, generally, like, you know, the defensive stats they need to. Um, basically down here you have like, you know, breakdown of like, you know, different things you basically do, so You have like an overview thing for a ship, you have like, you know, crew for like, you know, your, um, crew In the inventory button you basically have like, you know, a breakdown of your ship's inventory So you can basically see like, you know, what you're carrying, so in this case you're carrying lots of food 
We also have some energy crystals basically used to jump around. And there's basically a bunch of commodities basically like you, know, you can buy and sell if you're like a merchant basically in this game. Or pirate in this case. Down here we have like a more like, you know, um, you know, equipment basically for like, you know, manning like our like weapons if we have to like, you know, use them. So there's like a missile launcher, or um, there's like a missile for missile launcher. And eventually we'll have like our weapons basically like, you know, accum accumulate over here as well. Down here we also have a map key we basically like, can use like, you know, jump around like different sections of the map. So if I want to like jump over here to like, you know, this plant here and like, you know, see what's going on over here. Alright, so. Now note that this is a game that like you know has like FTL style events. So in this case, we basically have like you know an unknown underground structure appears on our planetary scanners. Human life signs are, are detected. So if I want to basically explore this mine, basically see what's going on down there. So let's explore the mine and pirate it perhaps. Now unlike FTL, this game actually has like dungeons you basically explore in. So in this case, we like jump into like this dungeon here. What do you want yes. me to do? And we're just gonna go like you know fight the inhabitants of this mine here for like you know their goodies. And it looks like we have zombies, by the way, so... We're off the bat, we're gonna fight some zombie enemies. Hooray! Let's get to it. So my guess here is pile in and let's kill these zombies over here. Yes, we're being eaten by zombies. And we're going after my alien first, apparently. Blarg! Now, when enemies kill over, you can basically loot them for, like, their, like, you know, goodies, so... We're just gonna loot this guy and get some like credits apparently from his corpse. And I'm on my way. let's get over here perhaps. I'm on my way. And I'll fight this guy next. You can see that these guys are like pistols and like you know I got the rifle on my captain over here. So here goes another zombie. Affirmative. So we loot this guy's corpse, get some more credits, I guess, from him. And up here we got ourselves in our zombie, so... We'll go fight that guy in a moment. Let's go up here first, though. Kill off this zombie. Now, as you see, like, you know, over here, we basically have, like, health for our crew members and, like, you know, the shell bar. The shell bar basically indicates their experience in, like, doing, like, activities in this game, so... Basically, like, we're killing off guys, we're getting, like, a common experience for, like, doing so. I'm on my way. We get over here and, like, deal with this guy, I guess. I find funny we're fighting a lot of, like, you know, female mice for some reason, but whatever. Female zombies, why not? We'll kill them all. Now, I will note if my captain dies, that's basically game over for me, so... What do you want? At this point, let's have my guys like heal up my like captain like themselves, I guess, so... What do you want me to do? I'm on my way. We're gonna like, heal up like so. And I actually get like, a lot of experience for doing this guy, um, this type of stuff, so basically get some experience doing this. I'm on my way. Let's get to my up the like, crystals over here, I guess, if we get the chance to, so... There's some energy crystals from that, like, you know, rock right there. I'm on my way. There's some, like, you know, iron there. Some more energy crystals. Now, while this guy was basically healing up my captain, he basically leveled oh, yes? up, so this guy can actually get, like, you know, repair, or, like, you know, heal, like, in increases, or, like, you know, general, like, stuff over here. I feel like we have damage reductions just to, like, help him out a little bit. Hum? What do you want? And at this point, let's get down to, um... Affirmative. This part of the map, I guess, to kill off this guy over here, so... More women have to die, or female zombies, I guess. Yeah, there's like a main map over here you can basically like, you know, view to like, you know, see like the lay of the land, so to speak, which is nice. Now, I'm going for my Captain Bobby because she has a rifle and she has, like, you know, long range than these guys over here, so that's what's happening over here, like, you know, the combat. Here, we're done with that. Let's get you heal up my Captain. Affirmative. What do you want me to do? And this guy can just go collect the rocks over here. Affirmative. There's some crystals. Affirmative. Uh, some silicon right there. Affirmative. More silicon. And more silicon. What do you want me yes. to do? 
All right, up here we have I'm some more resources way. to go collect the gas. Let's go get them. And I'll note by like you have like different like you know situations but as like you jump down these plants. So sometimes you'll have like you know smoker bases to raid. You'll have like you know um, ship crashes to explore. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. This is a taste so you can see like you know what's going on here like, you know, right now. So hooray! Affirmative. I'm on my way. Let's pick this up, I guess. Affirmative. And. Affirmative. All right, we're actually reached a point, I think, where, like, you know, oh, my inventory is not yet full, but, you know, we're getting there, like, basically, we're, like, you know, we're basically collecting stuff, and, like, you know, we're kind of super good, so we're, like, you know, greatly increasing, but whatever. We're not quite there yet, so that's fine. One more female minor to kill. Let's just go kill it. Bam. I'm on my way. Let's collect the loot right here. I'm on my way. We'll collect this guy's body. I'm on my way. Affirmative. I'm on my way. Well, I don't think I was going to complain about me going down here to basically collect the loot because, you know, zombies, whatever. Affirmative. Let's go grab the stuff over here, I guess. I'm on my way. So, a very successful run basically right here to collect a bunch of, like, you know, minerals and, like, you know, energy crystals. What do you want me to do? Affirmative. Let's see up our captain here a little bit more, get, like, this guy leveled up, and my captain basically, like, you know, uh, good to go. To I'm on my way. Increase this guy's health a little bit. Not a big increase, but, you know, it'll possibly help out if it gets, like, you know, damaged or something like that later on down the road. Let's teleport back to our ship. And you can see, like, from my inventory, basically, like, you know, we're almost out there, like, full capacity for goods, but, you know, a lot of space, like, you know, heavy, like, you know, silicon or, like, you know, metal ore, basically, we can, like, you know, sell off for a little bit of money. So, at this point, we're right here. Let's make our way down to, like, this outpost over here, I guess, and, like, you know, see what I can basically do right over there, I guess. Alright, so... As you swiftly transverse the sector, you're greeted by a nearby vessel. Hello, we have an astounding assortment of goods and parts. We can make excellent repairs, or are you interested, fa um, interested in fascinating assignments? Looking forward to doing business with you. So, we just found a merchant here, by the way, so you can basically attack him to basically, like, you know, get loot. But in this case, let's trade this guy to basically sell off our stuff here. So, we'll sell off this food, for example. We'll sell off the um, medical supplies. Let's sell off these metal ores. We'll sell off the silicon. And we'll like a little bit of money basically selling this stuff to this guy. If he wants to sell more, he can. So we can go here and sell equipment, for example, like this, like, you know, missile. And we can see that this guy has, like, you know, a little bit of stuff on, like, you know, he's got mine laser here. We've got, like, you know, sapphires and other stuff basically on this guy here, but whatever. So there we go. We just sold off our stuff, made a little bit of credits there, like 3,000 credits. And if I want to, it's like, you know, keep going on toward, like, this destination here. So why not? Ooh, there's a shipper over here. That's nice. So, you know what, this is a good time time to go to shipyard to basically show off, like, you know, buying ships, I guess, so let's do that right now. Alright, while flying through the system, your sensor readings for subspace density show very unusual readings. Our nearby science vessel knows who's increased you, so... Well, we can establish communication connection and see what this guy wants. Nice to meet you, yells the air captain to Comlink. We've placed management beacons to collect data of upcoming solar storms. However, we're falling behind uh, our schedule. Can you help us place the beacons, he asks. So, this guy has a mission for us, basically wants to help him get, like, you know, stuff done, so why not? We'll do it for him. Help him out, and... The scientist thanks you for your help and rewards you for some of your, uh, some of your supplies. Okay. There's a bit of, like, credits. We got a bit of, like, you know, supplies from it, so hooray. That helps us out a little bit. Now, on the part we're basically currently going to the shipyard here. I actually have a little, like, you know, commute button up here if I want to, so we can basically jump toward that, um, you know, destination as fast as possible, so let's keep doing that, so... And here we go. You encounter a trader during their flight, contacting him as um, as you can generate polite. Greetings, is there any something you need? So, again, I'm going to attack this merchant base to get his loot. I'm going to trade if I want to, but let's ask for work this time around. We could use some help at the moment. We are behind our delivery schedule. Could you deliver this biomass container for us? Okay, it's up to mission. Alright, so this guy basically has a biomass to deliver, apparently, somewhere. So, let's see where that is right now.
All right, so this guy wants us to go over to right here to basically deliver something for him. And you know what? This seems like a good idea. Let's do that right now. All right, so right after entering the system, your sensors show a huge debris field. No energy signals are being received. Apparently, the battle took place a long time ago. All right, so we got the debris field here. We're basically, search for valuables. So let's do that right now. And you find lots of stuff you can use from in the wrecks. You got everything and continue your journey afterwards. Okay. So basically got some stuff to sell and buy and stuff like that. So we got some food, energy, other stuff to sell. Hooray. Alright, let's get down here and basically deliver this like, cargo for us, our guy here. So, a shuttle approaches you. After some small talk, you transfer the cargo to the shuttle and get your reward. So, hooray! Mission accomplished. That's an accomplished mission. We got free selling credits for it. So, hooray! Alright, so... At this point, let's make our way over to the shipyard so we can show off what the shipyard is basically all about. Alright, so here's a shipyard. Shipyard is basically a place where you can trade and like, you know, retrofit your ship and stuff like that. So, if I want to, I can basically change stuff around here. Basically, like, you know, change how my ship basically operates. So, I could, for example, change like, you know, this botanical garden to basically have like, you know, a drone bay. And that basically means I have like, you know, food consumption to basically go up for like, you know, my guys and not put some food. But, we could have like drones that would do that. We can also change our other stuff, like, you know, continue to shield around, basically have, like, you know, um, a reactor for, like, more energy production, or I could, like, get, like, a resource process over here. You know, lots of stuff, basically, to do to manage your ship, basically, and however you want to do it. Um, let's just go here to trade a little, here a little bit. Now, ship are basically a haven for, like, getting lots of good weapons from, so I still have those like, relic parts, for example, as well as these, like, you know, ancient coins. Get a little bit of money for them. And we can also sell off, like, these goods, basically, required, so... I got some food we to sell. We'll sell it off right now. We'll sell off this medical supplies. Don't really need it, so we'll get rid of it. We'll sell metal ores. We'll sell like the like you know food fuel rods. We'll sell off the uh, bio samples. So a little bit of money basically for all this stuff here. And of course you see a negative nine of them. So all the stuff I basically sold over here. Now I know this guy has a lot of equipment on him. And if I want to actually get, like you know new new more powerful weapons based from this um like, you know ship if I want to. So I could get like this medium particle laser right here, which basically does like you know. Um, Pentress and North Shield, so basically if I have like a shield like, you know, enemy, I can like fire fruit or shields with this thing. Um, we have heavy particle layers, basically does like, you know, heavier damage, we have like, you know, um, heavy laser turrets over here. Lots of damage basically from these things, like, you know, where we basically fire it at. We have like, you know, uh, light particle lasers over here, we have like, you know, beam lasers over here. Lots of powerful stuff basically to make use of on a ship, of course, if I want to. And I apparently got like quad laser turrets, which apparently we couldn't have heavy laser turrets, but whatever. They're there. By the way, I also have like these like, you know, uh, sniper lasers over here, I guess, as well. So I could use these pieces to snipe out enemy ships for like a lot of damage, I guess. But anyhow, I'm not the main thing about the shipyards, I can upgrade your ships here. So at these places, you can actually like buy like new ships if you want to, to like, you know, make use of. So um, if I don't want to play like with the Armist or like the Bar, for example, which are like, you know, the uh, well, you know starting ships, basically here's like the Aurora or like the Demeter. The Hamdale, the Hyoka, the Manua, or Zeus. And these are like, you know, more powerful ships you can make use of in this game if you want to. So, I could have like, you know, a ship with like two weapon slots, four small rooms, two large rooms, and two pieces of equipment over here. And like, you know, fun stuff like that. Now, I won't actually buy like any like, you know, ships right now, but you know, basically you see like, you know, there's like lots of options basically, like, you know, um, playing like different ships that you see in this game. And for now, we're gonna make our way over to this like you know space station here, and we're gonna just get a mission, I think. So let's go over here. All right, so a large spacecraft floats in the orbit of the moon. No life signs or, or any signals are detected. It must have been abandoned a long time ago. You might be able to salvage from it. So okay, we basically salvage some like food and like you know energy crystals from like this wreck over here. Let's continue going on. And here we are at a space station. So space stations are very much like this um, ship present that they can like you know let you buy and sell stuff. So I basically go in here, like, you know, sell off, like, you know, goods that basically acquired here. So, sell off these, like, milk supplies, sell off, like, these food crates basically have. So, boom. I can also retrofit this, like, you know, um, to be, like, you know, different if I want to as well. So, we basically, like, you know, have, like, different layouts for, like, the, you know, space station as much like as um, we can for the shipyards. Now, another thing about the space, like, stations is that they're very important for, like, services. So, if I want to get, like, a bunch of, like, missions here for, like, stuff, so... This logistics department we basically do the delivery mission for this guy. The business of combat and mine drones gets better every day. 
we need someone to deliver metal ores to P2Q, XE, um, SX, you know, destination over here. Basically, it's five sectors away. And we'll basically get 4,000 credits for it. So, okay, we'll do this mission. And we'll get some, like, you know, stuff to basically deliver there, metal ores. Now, I'm a little, by the way, we want to basically do, like, you know, bounty mission as well. So, we can do, like, this, like, you know, bounty mission here. While number of space pirates increases, the life of freighter captains gets worse every day. We have to do something about it. So basically, I want to destroy five pirate ships, and like you know, we get some credits basically for doing it. So why not? We'll do that mission as well. And you can see like these missions basically stack on top of each other down here. So you're gonna see like you know, multiple missions basically accumulated as we go along here. Anyhow, let's just go see what we're up to on the map. So basically, we got a mission here to get up to the star system and deliver the metal. So let's go do that right now. And we got apparently um, a half for basically done here, but whatever. So, according to the database, there's an underground smuggler base on this moon. But we detect no life signs. Maybe they left something behind. Alright, so basically we are something our explored bunker type of mission here, so maybe we'll show that off a little bit, so let's go down here and see what's in the dungeon. Now I wouldn't I don't have a lot of space basically to accumulate like you know junk and stuff like that, but um we still have a little bit of like room basic clue made stuff, so why not? We'll try and do so. Yes. What do you want me to do? Let's look around. So okay. up here we got some crates basically accumulate, so let's go up here and get the stuff. And there's also a missile over there we can pick up as well, that's nice. So there's like something to pick up right there. My way. There's some crates. There's a missile. Nothing in this direction of base to pick up, so we're just gonna leave that stuff alone. But there is stuff down here apparently, so let's get down to this destination, I guess, and pick up I'm another missile. And yeah, like this is like you know a big part of this game by the way. You're going to like you know different like you know um, smugglers um, like bases or like you know planetary like you know officers like this place to do stuff. So I'm on my way. We're killing, like this stuff over here. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. We got ourselves a weapon, that's nice. Affirmative. There is something right there. Affirmative. Now as we go along we basically see we're actually accumulating stuff. We actually got ourselves a new like face pistol over here as well as like this like you know proto rifle. So if we go to like the like you know crew interface here, um basically I can swap out like different weapons if I want to for like these guys, so let's put on like this like you know face pistol for this guy right here, I guess. Basically does like you know more damage per second, so awesome. And then you can like, do more damage to like my like you know um, alien guy over here. All right, so is there anything else to accumulate over in this area? So let's look around over here. There's um oh move right over here, great. So let's move right over here, I guess. And there's lots of stuff over here as well. Affirmative. Affirmative. So there's another missile pickup. I'm on my way. There's more credits. More credits. I'm on my way. Affirmative. There's another weapon apparently pick up. I'm on my way. Another weapon. And a missile. Awesome. So we basically fill up our inventory of like weapons here. And if I go to my crew again, we can basically like, you know, change like, you know, my rifle would be like, you know, it's like, you know, my metal rifle here for like more damage. And I don't think I have anything better for our guy here, but I can put a pro rifle, even though like, you know, he's a pistol really guy, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, so. We would actually fill up our inventory of like this type of goods. We have, right, we got like you know stuff over here apparently, but that's fine. Let's just keep going. So we're back on a ship here. Affirmative. With my guys here. And let's make our way over to like this destination. All right. So your sensors readings show large ore and ore resource deposits in the sector. While traversing the sector, a large fully loaded deep mire greets you. So, if I want to basically explore a planet or attack the divine vessel, um, I think at this point, let's just leave this guy alone so we make our way to the destination for now. So, we ignore the spaceship and continue our flight. And let's continue our travel. Alright, the short range scanner has displayed an energy center and debris on a moon nearby. 
do you want to examine the crash site? So, in this case, we have something basically crashed on the surface over here. Let's examine what's going on over here, I guess. So let's jump down to this, like, you know, system here. Or not. Alright, so. A shuttle approaches you. After some small talk, you transfer cargo to a shuttle and get rewards, so. Mission accomplished. We got rid of our ores to get some money for it, so hooray. Not sure what happened with that moon there, but, you know. Again, this game, game is currently in alpha, so there's going to be, like, you know, issues with it, unfortunately. So, this is how it goes. Let's go to the space station. We'll maybe get a new mission here, as well as, like, you know, drop off the stuff we can sell off here, so. Let's sell off this equipment. I basically accumulate over here, as well. So, sell this off, sell this off, sell this off. All the money I'll get from this stuff basically over here. So hooray! There's our quad laser turret to pick, pick up if I want to. There's like, you know, dot pad over there. There's a light beam laser over there. We're just gonna sell this stuff off. Let's go to goods here. We'll sell off the milk supplies. And. Again, let's get some services here. So this guy doesn't have a, a bound mission because we already have like one basically to do right now. So let's go sell another delivery mission perhaps. So, this guy wants me to deliver 50 silicon to somewhere, so I guess we'll, like, you know, do that one for now. So, there's 50 silicon basically in my hold to basically deliver. You know, 50 silicon, that's basically take up my capacity, but it's fine. And he wants us to go back over here, so, okay. Alright, so, uh, here's, like, a trader course. If you want to trade this guy or ask for work, we're doing parcels. There's too many parcels. Could you deliver some, some for us, I guess? So, we'll set the mission. So, this guy wants me to deliver a parcel somewhere. And it's right here, apparently. Interesting. Alright, so. While flying through the system, basically, like, you know, we get rid of our science festival, so, like, you know, hop this guy out, so. We'll start communication and connection. Nice to meet you, yells the other captain to Comlink. We've placed measurement beacons to collect data of upcoming solar storms. However, we are falling behind our schedule. Can you help us place the beacons, he asked. So let's help the scientist. Basically, like get some like goodies for this, I guess. So he next to us gets us some supplies. So we get some money as well as like you know some comet armor apparently. Um, we basically put this comet armor on the guys here. So let's put this hazmat suit in this guy. Get a dance reduction for him. And you can see like there's like different stuff basically equipment in this game, but you know there's like hazmat suits for like you know hazard hazard related areas. There's like you know jewelry you can basically put on. Lots of good stuff. Let's go here and there we go. We basically deliver stuff. Mission accomplished. Basically get some credits for it, so hooray. Let's make our way back over here. And we got ourselves some merchants, so let's ask for work. So this guy wants to like, you know, help delivering stuff, let's up the mission. And he wants us to go up there apparently, so... We're gonna keep going this way for now. Uh, there's a mining outpost in the sector, but we don't have um, any signals, should we check it out? So... We're just gonna continue our flight for now. We've already basically like you know explored mine facilities, just you know ignore for now. Alright, here's another shell, basically we'll, like go here. Mission accomplished. There's our silicon basically like offload, basically get some money for it. And let's make our way up here to the star system. Alright, so while flying through the system, you're hailed by a nearly group of asteroid miners. Can I interest you in our resources? So basically this guy's a mine vessel, basically wants to like, you know, um, you know, trade us if he wants to, but we're obviously normally keep going on. And let's just sell off this, like, other stuff we got here. So, boom. Done. Mission accomplished. Just some money, basically, for the trader, basically, done. Alright, I have lots of money, money basically, like, show off, like, you know, the shipyard stuff, I guess, in this game. So, let's go down here to the shipyard. And, let's see here. Finally. As you enter the system, you're immediately fired upon. Just as you lay more energy to your weapons, you're hailed. You have no choice, chance. Give up. Serve and live. Or, resist the pirate ship. Alright, so I'm in combat here. Basically, much like FTL, basically have like, you know, an enemy like starship after like your port battle basically fire you, so. Hum? Let's just fire this guy. And more basically fire this guy with like my like ship weapon, we're gonna basically like, you know, do have a border here, so. What do you want yes. me to do? Let's see some boring action on my own ship, basically. Fire! So yeah, basically, like you have like boards basically in this game of like, you know, pirate ships and stuff like that. Here's like an instance of it. We kill this guy off, so hooray, he's basically dead. Let's go over to their ship and basically, like, you know, deal with like, his guys. So, much like FDL can go around, like, you know, kill this guy, like, you know, 
this sort of style. Now, no probably like you know, unlike FTL, if you like you know, to kill off all the commercials or like blow up the ship, the ship always stays. So enemy ship disabled. Basically, like, kill off his crew. We disable them, and we're good. Basically, go over there, I guess. Affirmative. So we have to pick ourselves a weapon over here. That's nice. Hum? Um, huh? let's get this guy to heal up my, like, captain a little bit. I'm on my way. So, we'll seal you up that way. Now, don't probably get, like, you know, experience basically, like, doing, like, um, different, like, actions in this game. So, like, killing people to get some, like, experience. Healing up your guys to get some experience. Fix up your ships to get experience. You know, very straightforward to start a game, I guess. Let's teleport back over here. And let's continue on. Now, I don't probably, you probably didn't really see it unless, like, you, like, you know, Go back, basically, like, you know, in my video, basically see it, but basically, like, you kill, kill off an enemy ship or, like, deal with them, you'll see, like, a little, like, you know, blur pop up of, like, you know, the basically stuff you basically accumulate from, like, the ship there. And down here, you see, like, you know, got, like, destroyed pirate ships, so we guys have a little bit of progress, basically, for our bounty boat over here as well. So that happened. Let's continue on. Alright, so, you're supposed to show a spaceship, uh, spaceship nearby, but the life signs seem to be strange. Let's fly closer and investigate it. Alright, so this is a very interesting, like, you know, event because basically just like, you know, an enemy spaceship that's basically, like, cured by zombies, so... Zombies! Let's go deal with it. So, everyone go, like, jump into, like, the, like, you know, teleports, I guess. I'll see what it's all about. Though, so before we do that, I do pick up, like, a weapon here. And... I'm a big fan of, like, basically having as weapons as possible, so... Let's have this guy basically put on the, like, you know, memento rifle. And let's just jump in. Yes. Um. Alright, one of the is basically, like, coming to, like, attack us. Let's go deal with him. So, attack. So, yes, zombies attack. Here, that guy's out of the way. Let's kill off this one. Now, if I want to, by the way, I can use, like, you know, um, these guys to heal up in combat if they need to. Affirmative. So, for example, I have this guy, like, heal himself up like this. Affirmative. What do you want? And if I want yes. to, as well, this guy can, like, heal up his friend as well, too, right? So. I'm on my let's way. Let's go heal up this guy. And there we go, we basically fought the zombies. I'm on my way. Let's go fill up this, like, you know, captain over here. What do you want me to do? Now, over here, we're going to, like, loot this guy's buys so we can see, like, you know, what goods they basically have. So, there's some crests in this guy. We're going to loot this guy for his stuff as well. And there's also some, like, you know, crates as well on this, like, ship as well. So, let's I'm go pick those way. up. So, we'll pick this stuff up. I'm on my there's way. There's another weapon. Another weapon. Affirmative. And that seems to be it for like his content. So we just got a couple of weapons for this like, this, like you know zombie like you know um, plague ship I guess. Let's continue our travel. And we basically trade over here if I want to. We basically trade off like this like you know weapons that basically accumulate. So trade us here, trade us here, trade us here. And let's trade off like our goods we don't need. So we don't need his food. Or actually we're gonna keep the food for now. Let's sell off this. We'll sell off this. Alright, so, at any point you can basically upgrade your ship, basically have, like, different ships in this game, so, um, for example, let's just buy, like, this, like, you know, um, Aeora over here, for example. So, I just bought myself a new ship here, and just looking at it, you can see, like, it's a lot different from, like, the last one, because we have, like, you know, a bigger ship and, like, more rooms. We have, basically, two reactors this time around, so, a lot more power, and two thrusters. We also have, like, you know, two storage rooms. As well as two officer cores, as well as like, you know, two crew cores, so a lot more room for like crew as well. And we also have like, you know, no shield generation, so that's a little bit of like a down, basically just like ship doesn't have shields, but whatever. Um, if I want to basically change stuff around here, basically have this stuff, you know, different stuff in here, so we turn like this like, you know, officer core into like a botanical garden, and I don't have to worry about food anymore. And I know this costs money to basically retrofit your ship like this, but whatever. We'll do that, and basically I'll have like, you know, botanical garden right there. Um, I can also upgrade my thrusters to be like more powerful. I want to at this point, so I mean I have like a more powerful thruster. Now, another part of this like this game, basically how it basically works is that like you know, um, 
if you have like lots of like actually like you know production for like you know your ships, you may have to use like more energy crystals like move around stuff like that. But whatever. Um, we also have like you know different weapons and stuff like here as well. So let's go here to trade, I guess, and try and buy one of these better weapons basically like use of. So let's buy ourselves maybe the like you know the heavy particle um, laser like, penetrate shield. So let's put one of these right here. And if I want to basically like you know change this weapon to be like you know the heavy particle laser. So boom. Now I got basically the medium laser I started off with, as well as this like, you know, heavy particle laser basically fire, um, fire off as well. And you see like it has a different weapon here as well, so you have like weapon 2 and weapon 1. We can solve this like, you know, old laser turret, we can get rid of that right now. And... Well, you know what, let's just go have some fun basically finding like, you know, an airship I guess, just to like show it off. So... Let's go over to like here. And alright, so here's a science vessel. We're just gonna attack this guy and show off like you know, our new weapons, I guess. So let's attack. So, here's the science vessel. If it has like you know two weapons on it, as well as like you know, um, as you can see here, lots of thrusters, lots of like reactors, and other stuff. You actually see over here it's got like you know teleporters, like you know, quad laser turrets and everything else, so a lot more powerful than the pirates we've been fighting. And when do you want? Let's just get under yes. underway, I guess, doing this. So yes, these guys can, like move over here, or actually, this ship actually doesn't have teleports so when I ship right here, so. What do you want me to do? I'm on We're just gonna have to fight this guy like the you know the higher way, so to speak. Yes, ma'am. What do you want me to do? Yes, ma'am. You can just hand over there, I guess, and let's just get to it. Fire all the weapons. Now I know this guy has shields, so we're just gonna rip through him as like you know, as a you know blinky face, so to speak. And we're firing like crazy at each other. Now, in this sort of, like um, situation, he's basically gonna try and charge up his FTL drive, basically get out of here if he can get the chance to. But we're probably gonna rip through him before he has a chance to get away, so that's fine. We're just gonna rip this like weapon apart and like go from there. Now, I just noticed something, but I actually lost both my, like, you know, journeys down here, so... What actually happened here is I don't actually have power to keep firing, so... I'm we're probably gonna way. die here, because, like, you know... He's still attacking me, but I wasn't repairing his stuff, so... We might be dead. Or, you get to see, like, you know, me dying battle, I guess. So you lost, your ship is destroyed. So, basically, you can see, like, you know, your score, basically, for, like, you know... You're like travel, so you got like you know one kill. Here's like goods and jumps and our stuff. Okay. All right, so that's basically glad to crew two, and you know it's very rough right now this game, but you know it has a lot of potential to be like you know something very like interesting in the future. I hope you guys basically enjoyed it and take care.